Hey everyone, this is Sean here for Run Repeat, and today I am going to review the Solomon Supercross. So the Supercross does a nice job of hitting kind of a medium ground between like some of Solomon's really super aggressive shoes that have you know five millimeter lugs. So comparatively, having a three millimeter lug enough traction and, and as always with Solomon, you get a really good bite. Did have some clumping of dirt on my last run in these, but nothing too bad. I really like the Contra Grip sole. It has good durability. Um, this one has a really nice uh, big cushion in the heel that leads into the arch of the foot. Um, that, was, that was pretty nice. For a lighter trail running shoe, you're gonna get moving faster than maybe normal. Uh, so that forgiving cushion in the heel was was very, very welcomed. Uh, a couple of other things that I dug about this shoe, this trademark Solomon lacing system, this goes back to some of the first ski boots that I owned from Solomon for cross country ski racing. Um, and this system has really never let me down, the quick lace system, so just sliding down. Every run I did in these shoes and other Solomon shoes that I've I've tested and run in, I've never had a problem with slippage. Very tight, secure fit. I love how you can just adjust on the fly super quick. It doesn't take much. Um, another really cool feature about uh, this shoe and other Solomon shoes is they have this little elastic piece there and so you can slide your laces right underneath there. Um, and so now when you're running, that's not bouncing around, kind of keeps it in control. One of the nice things about this shoe, and I found this on some other models of Solomon too, is this real burly toe cleat that they have. And so what I really like about that is if you're on steep terrain, it gives you that extra little bite if you're really digging in for short, short periods of speedy bursts up a hill. Not crucial in a trail running shoe, um, really nice when it, when it comes into play and you really need it. A uh, great feature of this shoe is the reinforced rubberized portions around the toe and onto your, into your big toe area little bite where you tend to have a little more extra wear. And these lateral bands of impregnated plastic that go into the fabric, creating a nice girdle around your foot, tying in super great uh, to the lacing system. Nice and burly and reinforced, but not adding a lot of weight. Uh, the Supercross is a really, has a really light, nimble feel to it. Another thing that I, thought was really well thought out was the material. It's almost reminiscent of ripstop nylon that you would have found on like an old uh, backpacking backpack or a tent, a backcountry tent. Some of the old tents that I have from my Alpine days have this exact kind of fabric. So I imagine that um, it's gonna be very durable and if it does get punctured or ripped, it's gonna resist tearing quite a bit. So. The Solomon Supercross uh, comes with a lot of features that I like. One that I thought was missing that I would have liked to see, which has kind of been kind of standard on most shoes these days, is um, a gusset around the tongue. I didn't notice much problem with floating of the tongue, uh, of it moving back and forth. Sometimes you get that and that gusseted tongue also can help to uh, keep debris from uh, getting in by your foot. Uh, so I really would have liked to have seen that on this shoe. Not a deal breaker for me. Overall, I really like the Solomon Supercross. It's a pretty lightweight trail running shoe. I think it's a nice uh, purchase for somebody who's looking to get into some more aggressive trails, maybe stepping up their game um, from some of the lighter weight uh, urban parks and, and uh, pedestrian trails to some actual maybe mountain running or um, some more aggressive uh, cross country terrain. It's got a great aggressive contra grip sole. It's got a nice lacing system, reinforced uh, in just the right areas, good cushioning, um, and it's pretty affordable too. So it's not gonna break your, your budget.